Welcome to uh, episode 11, and we're here with uh, Darren Houston again, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, a lot of the gear he uses uh, through uh, his law enforcement uh, job, and uh, talk about some weapon systems, and yeah, go ahead and take it away. All right, so what we have here are different variations of, uh, of uh, protective vests or plate carriers that, that I would typically use depending on what mission that we're uh, applying for the day. So take for instance, uh, we got this strang strand hog here from uh, First Spear. I've had this one for a long, long time. It has served me well, as you can see. Uh, I keep it minimal. I keep my little, what I like to call my little red wagon here. And I keep, you know, a little, uh, some cuffs, Kim Light handcuffs, regular handcuffs, a little notebook, stuff like that. Always have a flashlight and a pen. That's what I keep in there. Uh, the reason why you don't see anything on there because I've had, I have it distributed out throughout uh, all the other ones in the course of tourniquet. And again, um, the first pair strand hog man this thing is this thing is awesome and you can see all the padding and the cushioning uh it wears very very well um i would typically probably use this one uh, because of the color um out in the county you know we got brush and all that kind of good stuff or at nighttime i would use use this one right here so let's move on to the next one um this one here is one of my favorites um, as you can see it's it's the steel plates on the inside and there's a reason for the steel plates. Um, I think Will also has uh, this particular vest as well. Um, so you can move the magazines, right? And it stays there magnetically with the uh, rare awesome. magnet. So what I'd like to do on this one is usually when I'm on a protective detail and it gets hot when you got the, the suit on and all that kind of stuff, but you can see how thin it is, right? Yeah. So when you, when you got it underneath your shirt and underneath your jacket, I mean, that thing is contoured to your body. It gets a little warm, but it's comfortable. It's not unbearable, yeah. you know what I mean? So I like to use that one, and then I'll usually keep me a, a small little uh, um, backpack or whatever the case may be. This will go inside the backpack or, okay. or shoulder sling pack, and all I do is pull that out, snaps onto there, and I'm ready to rock. Right, the gun comes out yeah. from there. Right? Got a lot of wear on that too. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah these straps are bought. They're working. <laughs> yeah. You can see where it's coming apart up yeah. here in the front. But this thing, this thing is is, yeah. is awesome. It's really good stuff. It, you know, it's heavy, but it serves its per it serves its purpose. Yeah, minimalist. Right. Um, I, I also throw this on here. Sometimes I'll I'll use it if we're doing vehicle takedowns as well. <clears throat> when you sit in the car and people are walking by, you can't have all this stuff strapped to you. Mm -hmm. So I'll put it in the center console, and when we get ready to rock and roll, I'll just slap that on the top of there. Or sometimes I have it on the roof of the vehicle. And we'll just slap it on there and rock. Now to the other one, Spirit of Systems, which we all love, right? So here's the Spirit, the Spirit of Systems. Um, I think this is the uh, Covert. Yeah, the Covert on the Spirit of Systems. It's got all the, the sides for the magazine, radio pouches, and all that kind of stuff. I kind of took some of that stuff out. Uh, didn't really want to put it on camera, what, you know, what we yeah. use for, yeah. So, yeah, 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 absolutely. So both sides, and then of course you got it up front. This thing removes and you can snap it off. I Pretty much everybody's seen the, um, um, how their gear works. It's awesome, good mm -hmm. to go. I really like this one as well because it's light. If we're doing a vehicle takedown, this one is probably my first one to go to, believe it or not, even though that one's better. Um, better in the, what I mean by that is where I can just, slap that magazine on the front and we're ready to go this one i'd have to get in snap it up and then move out but this one is it's 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 good believe me when i say that it's it's awesome yeah. and it's nice and light as well um now let's get to the big boy so this one here uh this is uh, i believe a safari land this is what uh, our unit uses as you can see here it's got the velcro on the front lifts up right this here is my med pouch it's also from spirited systems as well i got the comms running through there and you can see here on the back as well when my comms run i keep american flag a lot of people ask me hey why do you do that and, then, and i say um if one of my guys or one of us go down we don't want to be covered in a yellow tarp we don't want that yellow yeah. tarp on top of us you know what i mean so that's what that's for not to be negative, but that's the reality. It almost happened to you. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what it's for. All right. So you'll see a couple other things um, back here in the back as well. Like people ask me, hey, what do you do with that thing? What's that thing for? That big old ball right there, right? So this is my shotgun strap. Okay. So I'll, I'll put that shotgun when we're doing breaching, yeah. or when we breach doors, and it'll go back in the back of there. And if I need to, uh, for some reason, get, get it out extra quick, uh, quick I'll just detach that. 
and it'll swing around to the front. Didn't bring that today to show you that one, but that's how that works, all right? Um, here's the other portion, which is kind of neat as well. You see this red string here? Um, that, that serves as all my medical equipment, right? So anybody knows on the team when they see that, anybody goes down, you pull that red string out, and there's all your medical stuff right there. This wasn't my, my idea. Uh, somebody else had, had did that. I just did mine on my own. And on the back, you'll see all the IFAC contents, right? So if somebody goes down, you pull that out, lay it next to them, cut it open, go to work. Easy peasy, right? Also have a man down strap in the back as well. So that fits in there too. So there's a gamut of stuff, you know, that, that I use um, for all different situations. And that's how I like to set up my gear. All right. And then I'll uh, we have an identifier patch, uh, my call sign in the back as well. So that's what we have there. All right. And then the helmet. Uh, everybody's pretty much using, you know, everybody pretty much knows about helmets and different sizes and different cuts and all that good stuff. This is one I, I like to particularly use. Sits pretty good on the head. Um, when we put a, I, I have a single uh, nod, a 14 that goes on there. You've got the peltors that come down on the side. And of course, the bucky patch. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you ain't got that bucky patch on your hat, you're wrong. You know what I mean? Um, also, see this little Michael Jordan sticker right here? So some of the, some of the gangs here in San Antonio like to use that uh, to identify themselves. Oh, interesting, yeah. Absolutely. So. Okay. One of the guys um, we took down, uh, I got that from him. So that's what that, that's for. We also have, uh, also have a strobe and uh, an IR flag. A lot of times we'll use uh, Homeland Security's uh, helicopter or we'll use DPS here as well uh, for night ops. And that will be able to identify uh, who I am or where I am in the, uh, in the mix of the, the stack as well. Um, that's pretty much it on gear. Um, what my advice for gear is always buy the best. Don't buy that cheap stuff out there because you're gonna buy it again and you're gonna buy it again and you're gonna buy it again. Just spend your money, save your, save up your income tax money. <laughs> <laughs> Stop buying Jordans and Playstations and get you some good gear, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So that's what I got on gear. All right, well, uh, now on to uh, the weapon systems. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, here it is. The, uh, gosh, one of the first, uh, you know, set of eight uh, triarch rifles, That's and a beautiful, uh, beautiful thing. yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> you see, the engraving was a little bit different back then, right. but uh, added stuff as we went on. Uh, when we came with the triarch rail, we of course upgraded it with the triarch uh, triarch rail, and uh, but yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's good seeing this. Yeah, like, man. I like seeing it because <laughs> it still runs, uh, still kicking butt. Uh, but yeah, you can see the, the changes has been over. But yeah, right. You know what I like about it as well is. Um, so some of the, the newer or some of the agencies yeah. that you've sold uh, your rifles to as mm -hmm. well, and they see this one and they look at it and go, man, that's badass. Where'd you get that one? I said, man, that's, that's an original. Don't touch <laughs> it. Don't touch it. You get jealous. <laughs> Play with yours and leave mine alone. You know what yeah. I mean? Seriously. But uh, it's good to go you know, to different agencies and training and, and see that Triarch logo on other people's rifles and, and you know that that always starts a conversation oh yeah and they yeah. asked me because they, they seen uh i forget what episode that first video i did hey what do you think about the company and i get calls and stuff like that yeah. and of course i always refer and that's what we do you know do we take care of referrals each other. Yeah, yeah absolutely definitely. Yeah. and so um a while back uh, you know through many conversations that i have with uh darren we always talk about uh just kind of different tactics he's doing or uh, updates on what he's doing uh, in his uh, as far as his uh, law enforcement career and obviously uh, you'll talk about warrants he's did or you know served recently and uh, we came to the conversation with a shorter 556 rifle and uh, I always have my reservations about it because of velocity uh, issues with the shorter barrels it's, it's um, 10 5 is it's you know the shortest obviously the military goes with um, you do get good velocity out of it using 5.56 ammunition, uh, but reservations about uh, going uh, shorter than um, uh, 10.5. But the application, Darren, uh, you know, he knows more than me in, in the sense that you know, as far as he's he's the one going to be using it, and um, so we were just talking about barrel lengths, and so we decided to obviously use an 8.3, um, and. Uh, so I started testing it. We did make some samples of uh, track barrels that are 8.3, and uh, velocity was surprisingly good. I was uh, uh, impressed with it, uh, nonetheless. Now, obviously, uh, 
you have to run five plus six animation. You can run two two three, but when we're talking self defense or lethality, uh, we want to, you want to get the most velocity you can because of the short barrel. So you have to compensate for that. And uh, but yeah, the velocity's been great. It's and, you know, and you, we have to remember, it's, you know, Taylor Solutions. It's mission specific. This is this this is what Darren requested, and it would help him out through what he does in his career and on duty. And so we built it. And right here we have one of the first sample ones right here. It's an eight point three. Um, SBR uh, with the law folder and some of the uh, other items, EOTech Optic uh, on top, of course. <clears throat> and uh, this is how he spec'd it out. And since he's running night vision, we have an IR laser. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's performing above and beyond in uh, the application. And some of the application that uh, he wanted to go with was obviously some of the non discrete bags here uh, that uh, Darren uses. Yeah, that's the, uh, I believe that's the Vertex uh, commuter sling on that one. <clears throat> it's about but mid-size. It's a nice, nice little bag. I upgraded from the, from the, uh, the smaller version of that. <clears throat> and as yeah. you can see here, that's one of the main reasons why we were uh, brainstorming about it. There you go. Nice and neat. Back. 8.3, and, and uh, I mean... And that's the thing, it's it's very mission specific. You have to be um, cognizant of your ammunition, because uh, like I said, 556, 223. You want the 556 side to gain the more velocity. Uh, you're gonna need to be uh, lethal. It's gonna need every help it can get. Uh, like I said, obviously for close range, uh, we're not talking about hitting targets at 300 meters, right. but CQB, uh, you know, discreet, PS, uh, PSD, mm -hmm. personal uh, executive protection. Absolutely. It's it's projects like this. I mean, this is what we do, and this is what we like to do because we have a professional end user here, years of experience, um, doing multiple facets of you know from narcotics to gangs to executive protection, and he wanted something very mission specific, and uh, we built it, and it's it's running great. We've had it for gosh uh, four months already, just been TNA it, collecting data. Always uh, by the time this video comes out. Um, hopefully it'll be out uh, for sale. Thanks for joining us uh, this time and uh, talking about gear. And um, next episode, we'll go and get out the range. Darren will show us some drills and a little bit of stuff uh, from his uh, executive protection side. And yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.